Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fisher's Price Great Adventures. I am happy to announce that we actually have an official unboxing. This has never been opened before, so I'm going to open it up for you guys, set it up, and see what we're doing. So we have model number 77041. As we can see, it's a pirate ship. I feel like this pirate ship didn't get, wasn't as, as popular as the other pirate ship that the Great Adventures made, uh, probably because it's a smaller, you get three guys as opposed to five, but just from the box itself, the ship looks really cool and it's gonna be a great addition to the collection. So we got on the back, kind of shows you some details. Let's see on the back, we got hours of surprises and fun with Great Adventures Pirate Ship. And just talks about the stuff that the ship comes with that we'll get into. The bottom says 1997 so it's crazy to think that somebody got this 1997 maybe 1998 and they didn't open it uh, this is like close to 24 25 years old so I'm excited to get started here we go Here's our official instruction manual that we're going to be using. Got our main piece, looks like attachments, all these attachments are wrapped in plastic. So we got figures here. These guys. Just some quick little details we have on our main little part here. There's actually a cool little hammock you can use. A crossbow that obviously we can't use. Pirate ship always needs a map with a oh what is this called? I'm blanking on the name of this. Uh, Telescope? Telescope maybe? Yeah, there we go. Got all some, some rope here as well. So, let's get building. So, just looking at the instructions, obviously we've gotten this far. This is really just three steps, but this is how the plank for this particular ship works. So, it's actually right behind our wheel here. And you flip it down. That's where our plank is. And it looks to be... You guys can see that you can you can see the map but there is actually a what looks to be a map there so pretty cool I guess realistically it'd be pretty hard if you're actually on the ship to activate the plank but ship needs a plank and that's where they decided to put it
This is our flag that we gave with the ship. Just your classic uh, skull, skull and crossbone. Now, the cool thing about this ship is that the, the small ship that big ships usually come with are something that have to be either anchored to the boat or, you know, on the boat themselves. This, first, first let's just look at the little dragon boat here. But this guy actually slides into the boat. pretty easily and so it's actually a part of the boat until you want to use it and how do you kind of eject it is there's a little button here so push it and act wow I didn't think it was gonna do that but it actually launches it so these guys ever need a quick getaway, then certainly they can launch themselves out of here. Now, like with the original pirate ship, you do have like a launching anchor mechanism that comes on the smaller boats and it's the same thing with this boat but the cool thing is that you can decide where you want it and what do i mean by that you can you can incorporate it on your big ship and it actually has some functionality of rotating well i guess not really rotating but you can get different angles which you want to launch or let's say you're in you're in that getaway mode again or you want to use your, your dragon boat here you can remove it from your big boat and attach it small boat to keep on accidentally launching it and yeah and I guess if you really wanted to you could oh yeah when it's on this guy it's actually able to rotate 360 actually makes me think oh can you oh Okay, yeah, you can do the same thing. Same thing on our big guy. Yeah, it's got a, uh, it's got some pretty good power to it. Just like in our original pirate ship, it gives you lots, lots of length. Probably too much length. I always find that kind of annoying when you have to wrap up the other one, but yeah, look how long that is. Probably two feet, if I had to guess. And yeah, it goes, it goes all the way, so. I would say we would have it on our main guy for now. Our small boat does come with not just outer details, but some inside details. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. But in here we have some, again these aren't actually usable, but they're just details. 
We have some oars, we have a sword, got some money, a rope and anchor. Looks like some kind of cargo chest. And bottle, I think. What's what's in the bottle? We'll leave that up to the imagination. Uh, yeah, maybe you guys can pick out some of the some of the things it comes with. Okay, so yeah, this is our ship. A little 360 here. There, it's our back. Oh, that one off. Okay, yeah. So here is our boat, and I guess as a pirate, having your whole back exposed probably not the safest. Um, regards to our lower deck, which is a part of your pop-out boat, you can actually close. Is that there? Um, yeah, we have our small little points for our men to stand on. And yeah, that's uh, that is our fully built functional boat. Moving on to the men that we get. As I'm sure you can guess, if you know about Fisher's Price, is that at least with the pirates, they're pretty consistent on the styles. So we're not going to get any new pirate really that you've never seen. Okay, so it seems that the theme of these pirates is green. that are green guys. Now, I know Fisher's Price had already green pirates. And so I think that's why for their captain, they put him in a gray jacket just to throw a little bit of difference in there. Um, yeah, so we have our climber. This guy can easily put what a rope. We have our main man with the hook and his sword. Post him. Um, I'll have him hugging the top here. Then yeah, our captain. This gray jacket, uh, green pants and hat to match the rest of his crew. I have to say that in the box, like this is this is a pretty flat gray of a jacket. On the box, they do a really good job of making it appear like more metallic silver. Like I don't know if you guys can see that how shiny that looks. So before I opened the box and just looking at the box, I was like, this is gonna be my favorite captain by far just because of his jacket and I have to say now that I'm a little disappointed that his jacket is so flat um, so that's kind of where I'm at with him I put him driving the boat now one of the fun features that it shows you on the box that if you ever have somebody driving the boat that you as a person are very fond of, you can actually fling them off. And so maybe that's a mechanism that you throw into your story that there's a switch or somewhere that if you have somebody up there that you don't really want, you hit your switch and you fling them into the ocean. So, yeah, here is 
everything kind of put together and I'm really happy that I was able to get this especially brand new um, getting to actually build this myself and knowing that all the pieces are there and that all the pieces are going to be working and yeah this is definitely smaller than the original boat oh I guess another thing that I just checked is I know that the original boat actually had wheels on the bottom so you could actually uh, kind of push it along and it would rock like it was on the water this guy has no wheels so you're stuck with uh, just kind of pushing it but yeah they definitely Fisher Price did a good job of doing some upgrades it is a smaller boat but with less quantity they seem to add some more quality with you know our switch here our cannon that you can you can move around and then of course our boat that you can actually eject and there is wow <laughs> I just realized like how are you supposed to see out of this? You can't see where you're going. I guess you just have to trust the dragon. He knows where he's going. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, any likes or comments are always appreciated. Uh, I try to get back to you guys with, with anything. And what do you guys think? Should I, even, should I keep the box? Is it worth keeping? I mean, box is open now. I don't know. You guys let me know.